Good morning. Hello, when are the we pop honey? Today, I'm going to talk to you about Cornish syntagmatic lexical relations. If an expression is heard often, transmitting itself memetically, the words become glued together in our minds. Crystal clear. Middle management, nuclear family, and cosmetic surgery are English examples of collocated pairs of words. Some words are often found together because they make up a compound noun. For example, riding boots or motorcyclist. There are two types of lexical relation, the paradigmatic and the syntagmatic. It is the syntagmatic lexical relation with which we are here concerned today. But, to help us understand the difference, let me first explain what the paradigmatic relation is. The paradigmatic lexical relation refers to the choice of words that can fill a given slot in an utterance. For example, we can say, Mandain tebre aval, the man is eating an apple. Mandain tebre dean reo, the man is eating an ice cream. Mandain tebre cresigo, the man is eating crisps. Mandain tebri corfen, the man is eating a pasty. Mandain tebri sevian, the man is eating a strawberry. Virtually any noun can fill this slot. The noun in question does not even have to refer to something edible. One could, for example, say, Mandain tebri liver, the man is eating a book. Although this might be an unlikely sentence, it is, nevertheless, possible. The syntagmatic lexical relation is concerned with how words combine to form a chain. We are not concerned here purely with syntax, with whether the adjective precedes or follows its noun or whether the subject proceeds or follows its verb. That is pure syntax. Today, I am going to talk about the meaning relations between words that co-occur in a chain of words. For example, we say, Godvos grass the Mabonan, be grateful to someone. In Jordan's creation, we find how dremas a war them grass, the whale viaj marum noble, and my husband will be grateful to me for undertaking such a noble enterprise. Godvos grass is what we call a collocation. If we want to express gratitude, we need to know which verb usually accompanies the noun grass. We saw how, in the paradigmatic lexical relation, virtually any noun could fill the slot in the sentence mandain tebri nepith. This is a, a free combination, whereas the verb that accompanies grass is restricted. The important word here is usually The concept of usual is statistical. It is concerned with frequency of usage. Thus we find further examples of Godvos grass. In Origo Mundi we find Antaz Arig Al Formier am Offrin Re Waffa grass. May the Father who created me thank me for my offering. 
in Bernan's Mariasic we find Bermasi Agan Leech Da Mirasa Wathan Nefra the Hui Agaspal Nogeth Many thanks, our good liege. We are always most grateful to you for your intention. In Jordan's creation we find the view with horn grass ragtha. I thank God for it. And there are other examples of Godvos grass to be found. So, a collocation can be thought of as a recurring combination. I mentioned earlier that syntagmatic lexical relations are not simply syntax. However, grammatical or syntactic patterns are an important aspect of collocation. These grammatical patterns we call colligations with a G. As we saw in the previous examples, we say in Cornish, Godvos grass the Nabonan an epith. Be grateful to someone for something. Colligation is not only concerned with the fact that Godvos grass is a verb plus noun combination, it is also concerned with the prepositional phrases with which this phrase may combine and the particular prepositions involved. The Nabonan to someone, an epith for something. Let us now look at a few examples of collocations. We find verb noun collocations such as Don saw the Nabonan, be angry with somebody. Here is an example from Jordan's creation. Ichwan gwir deo agan taz, isor vin iteg pir vraz mian suppose. I know that God our Father will be very angry with us. Notice that the preposition used is the. Goroitha, take care of or preserve. Here is an example from Origo Mundi. Rewaro weith amena, preserve my soul. The preposition is a. Gronchakimius the nabonan, the warth nabonan, the wheel nepith. Allow someone something or somebody. Literally, grant permission for something to someone from somebody. Here is an example from Origo Mundi. Bors grantius the ni chemius de worth and tars deo guella, the ballus ha the warness, that God allows us to dig and sow. And another example from Passio Domini. Chemius grantis them ima, the anclevia sin luan. Fortunately, I am allowed to bury him. The prepositional phrases are the Nabonan to someone, the Worth Nabonan from someone, and the Wheel Nepeth to do something. We find verb adverb collocations such as Leveral in Freth, speak emphatically or say emphatically. Here is an example from Pashonag and Arleth. In instavia all the eighth bis and pilat, o justus un edo zodo in freth in delma alaveris. Hurryingly, they all went to Pilate, who was a justice, a Jew, emphatically spoke thus to him. And another example from Beonin's K. De gras, Christ, agen perinus. Me, Modreth, a lever freth, Arthur avith guardevius, hae iscerens effafeth. By the grace of Christ who redeemed us, I, Modred, say emphatically Arthur will be victorious, 
and he will vanquish his foes. Minez Kins, prefer or would rather. Here's an example from Hluid's Archaeologia Britannica. Bevenger Kens, it is better or I had rather. We find verb adjective collocations such as Gwitha compass in Kevronabonan, remain faithful to someone. Here is an example from Juan Chui and Hor. Mal vava prev era e reg quitha compass et ever. That he might ascertain whether his wife was remaining faithful to him. Notice the preposition is in kever. Minez da vanabonan, wish someone well. Here is an example from Beunen's Moriasic. Dotho orth neb avin da, to him who wishes him well. Notice the preposition, the. Prena da, buy cheaply. Here is an example from Passio Domini. Mia guzzle bors gansa, prenis da guan in neple. I advise that some open land somewhere is bought cheaply with them. We find verb plus prepositional phrase collocations, such as sevel in gallos, lie in one's power. Here is an example from Beunen's Mariazic. Ni save hedna ith gallos, that doesn't lie in your power. We find noun adjective collocations such as fortin teg, good luck. Here is an example from Beunen's Briasic. Rag Asia and Pedrenu, Harag Stopir Tarthenu, Imadhoe fortin teg. For easing the buttocks and for stopping tertian fever, you have good luck. Go Snessa close relative. Here is an example from Beunen's Moriasic. Mia vin kint says de barth, movia oma certain tra, rag dader hag honester, the variasic hepoware, al goes nessa. I will, before leaving, propose here a certain thing, for goodness and decency, to Moriasic without grief, my next of kin. Calm Ray Slipknot, literally a free knot. Here is an example from Passio Domini. Mia vin setcha calm ray, my fastu and calm pare, sura dro vim briangin, a the sempis them targa. I will tie a slipknot, so that the knot may fasten around my throat to choke me immediately. We find noun plus noun collocations, such as bestarlithi, gain. Here is an example from Beunen's Moriasic. Pua rose the wee leshians, ragdon is in o grand vie, the helchia bestarlithi. Who has given you permission to enter my territory to hunt game? We find comparative adjective plus noun phrase collocations such as Gwella da jer, cheer up, literally better your cheer. Here is an example from Origo Mundi. Eva weg Gwella da jer, dear Eve, cheer up. And from Passio Domini, the das kera vilawa, a erchus Gwella da jer. Thy most dear father, praise him, has bidden cheer up. And from Jordan's creation, O fria squella thy jer, my spouse, cheer up. We find adjective plus adverb collocations, 
such as Teg Lauer, easy. Here is an example from Trachea homilies. If you take a lower, va understandia, it is easy to understand. We find adverb plus adverb collocations, such as stagogma, right here. Here is an example from Baunen's Moriasic. Mensen stagogma merwell, I would like to die right here. We find noun plus prepositional phrase collocations, such as havel the fastnabonen, in appearance like someone. Here is an example from Origo Mundi. Near the ra, ti, the, nabri, havel vagen fasquare. Presently, I shall make you, you man, from clay, in appearance like us. And we find the same phrase from Jordan's creation. Some words are very restricted in their collocational range. For example, mo is only found in the expression mo hametin. Here is an example from Bonan's Moriasic. Jesu and Mablen Raz Soccer ni mo hametin and speris sans benigis igras genen my kefen. Jesus, the sun full of grace, assist us night and day, so that we may receive the grace of the blessed Holy Ghost. Morel means black, but is only used when referring to horses. Here is an example from Beonen's Moriasic. Pimathem aumarch moral. Where is my black horse? Collocations frequently do not translate word for word into English. Sometimes the meaning of a collocation is opaque. By this, I mean that the meaning of the expression cannot simply be derived by adding together the meanings of the words of which it is comprised. For example, Cows Garenno literally translates as speak words, but actually means quibble. Here is an example from Bonan's Moriasic. Now wella cows garenu, don't try to quibble. Collocations, whose meaning is opaque, are called idioms. Let us look at further examples of idioms. Waran K, unclaimed or abandoned. Here is an example from Beunan's Moriasic. Pira Wilster Waran K, Gesis in Bis Ma Enath. When did you really see an unclaimed soul left upon this earth? Alain Colon. This means sincere or passionately, wholeheartedly or heartfelt. Here is an example from Passion Agon Arleth. We abyss Alain Golon. You who pray wholeheartedly. And another example from Passio Domini. Pijado Alain Colon. Wholehearted prayer. Don't soar the Neponen. Be angry with somebody. Here is an example from Jordan's creation. If one queer del agan taz is sore than he take pure vras, me answer I know that God our Father will be very angry with us. Heb weather the gorn, without making a fuss, literally without blowing your horn. Here is an example from Origo Mundi. Tison heb weather the gorn. Tisempus gora ithibri. Quietly, without making a fuss, eat it immediately. Mezathorno means unexpectedly, but literally 
out of hands. Here is an example from Bilbao manuscript. Me res mors de Lundres, mes a thorno. I must go to London unexpectedly. Tathus re here literally means a tongue too long, but actually just means a chatterbox. Here is an example from Hluid's Archaeologia Britannica. With dawn re there von Tavus re here. A fist is too short for a chatterbox. This diagram shows a cline of collocational restriction. At the top of the diagram are fixed expressions, idioms such as waren ke, alen kolon, and hep bagorn. Below these idioms we find words that are very restricted in their collocational range, such as mo and morel. Less restricted are recurring combinations, such as god was gras and god was brez. And finally, at the bottom of the diagram, are completely free combinations, such as god was weller to know weller and god was screefer to know how to write. That concludes my talk. Thank you for listening.